the dawn of capitalism, when corporations as mighty as nations rule the seas and dominate the world's valuable trade routes. With an iron fist, they forge a path of tyranny and exploitation, igniting a battle for global supremacy. From the Indian Ocean, a flood of exotic goods feed new addictions and fill coffers with coins tainted in blood. And where there is blood, there are predators. Ship. She shot through. Easy prey. Always room for more riches in our hold. She's vulnerable to a cold side.
Freeman's luck must truly be on your side. Luck? The British and the folk be them. I blame Captain Rusty for stealing us into these cursed shallows. <laughs> we survived the battle, and now you arrive to help crew the Dao. I would say our fortune's on the rise, no? There's a certain yearning in your eyes. I've seen the same glint in others before. I'm sure you will steer us true to St. Anne. To reach Parade Paradise. We must first know the way. Yeah. A logbook we retrieved from the wreck. More than ink and parchment, our fates are revealed in layers and often from plain sight. Perhaps this will help you chart your path forward, friend. Make yourself useful. Take the tiller before the damn British return. I'll work the sail. The wind favors the fearless. Let us chase it. Among the scattered survivors, one must surely know the way to St. Anne. Freeman's luck, guide us. Even faster. Trim the sails. Land ahead. Destiny's thrown us a line. We can find help to get out of this place. I told Captain Rassler, the ship was as overburdened as a pregnant sow. We may have lost the British in the fog, but also the race against these cursed elements. See now, the Exeter's guts spilled across these shallows, and I'm surrounded by drunken sluggards who believe they are doomed to this hellish rock. And where were you, Captain, while the Exeter was hounded by British frigates? No doubt cowering in your quarters, like the filthy built rat you are. What good are your foolhardy ways, if they have left us stranded upon these shallows? You wish to reach St. Anne? Of course you do. And so do the rest of this drunken lot, sprawled upon their asses. But if we return to the kingpin empty-handed, he will surely strip us of our titles, if he does not first strip us of our skin. Retrieve what remains of Scalock's cargo from the shark-infested waters. Only then, Will I divulge the way to Pirate Paradise? Good. Now make haste.
We wouldn't trust the officer to guide a fish in open seas. But if the bugger knows the way to St. Anne, we need to get Skurlock's cargo. We can hunt these fish for food. You must truck fast! Those corpses, we might have to search them. I do not want to die today! Energy has run no captaini. Good work. Wish the way to St. Anne. Get me Skellox cargo. Thanks for the goods. Skellox may well spare my head, but I cannot say the same for you. After I tell him about the captain who failed to protect his cargo. <laughs> Find your own way to St. Anne, chum sniffer. <laughs> Don't owe you a sliver up your ass, especially when mine's on the line. Why don't you ask Captain Rassler? His bloated corpse might know the way. Now fuck off, built rat! <laughs> 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 A 
a little weasel to the very end. If the bastard says wrestler might have the map to St. N, we should search his wreck. St. Anne's horizon might hold the sunrise I've been yearning for. Better hope the pirates don't stab you in the back face! Freeman's luck indeed. You found a way to St. Anne and a letter bearing Skurlock's mark. The Kingpin will surely want to know what happened to his cargo. Or John Scarrow will have three shots from a flintlock wizard for our heads. Or just yours, friend. <laughs> What's a pirate's life without a little peril and mischief, eh? With the cargo from the Exeter lost, 
Skurlock will need a daring rogue like yourself to procure new goods for his pirate empire. And so far, your fortune has steered us true. I'm glad we pulled your corpse from the sea, friend. Wrestler is dead, and with him, all prior obligations or duties. You are free to make your own luck now, Captain. Captain, is it? As long as you don't tear us into the blasted rocks. We're finally getting out of these cursed atolls. Fortune smiles upon you, Captain. Something tells me we're going to be just fine. Hmm. I think I might even stick around for a while. Imagine what else we could accomplish together, Captain. We could build a strong fleet and crush our enemies, conquer any threat. We could defy the gods themselves. Onwards to Saint Anne, Captain. Make way! Set sail for par paradise! <laughs> Smell that salt, spice, and sin, Captain. The Indian Ocean holds many secrets and mysteries. The smuggling den of St. Anne is one of its hidden gems. Whatever a pirate needs, this place has it in stock. St. Anne is where we turn our luck into fortune, friend. Skurlock can get us started. That letter is proof your pirate worth a lick of salt. Hey, don't look at me. You're the best pirate to win Skurlock over. Me? Ah, yeah. I had my shot in the past. We don't need Skurlock's loyalty to gain infamy and influence. Only his connections. A proper ship would be a start. Unless you want to keep cozying up on your Dao. I'll stay by the ship while you tread shore. Pay no mind to the bottom feeders, Captain. Remember, we answer only to the winds of fate. <laughs> this one isn't going to make it. The little twig will snap within days. Days? That carcass is just about falling apart. And it reeks of whale piss.
good to get decently. More drags washed up on the dogs. I could have had that around. This one here survived the wreck. Sure looks like it. A survivor? Come on in, Cully. Get it done. We'll never show your ugly mug again. You useless git. The British wrecked my ship, sank my cargo, but shut you out. Hope you're not worthless. I really needed those goods. You see, this port rises on Chulin's patronage. And that merchant's so rich he pisses liquid gold. All I receive is a letter. That fucker wipes his ass to smear my face. I send a full haul of goods, and his demands triple. I need more captains. A nose for a bargain, have you? I can set you up with some traders. But you'll need a much larger hold. Cully, I saw that little tub you washed at me. It's halfway to Flotsam. You've got spirits, but you're not ready yet. But you want to get out of those rags and into a real ship? Then build your reputation and earn the people's respect. Good things will follow. Do that, and I can make you the most infamous pirate in all the seas. Off you go. We'll see each other soon. Must have been tainted. I've had my fill of colour. Work all day. Ah, so you're the kelp that washed ashore from the wreck of the Exeter. Skerlock may see potential in you, but all I see is a would be pirate with salt in their breeches. Tell me, what does the Pirate King see in someone as ragged as yourself? Careful your determination is not steered by Skerlock, but by your own free will. Cunning is a Pirate's true compass. Remember that. I expect you'll be wanting a pet on the back, treasure in your boots, and John Skerlock's warm embrace. Ha! St. Anne would sooner slit your throat than be called your paradise. I can build you the mightiest ship in the Indian Ocean, like I did for Skerlock with his Margareta. But how you steer it into the waves is up to you, Captain. A pirate steers their own ship, but how it fares in a monsoon depends on its maker. Visit my friend, Zane, the carpenter, and he will help you craft the tools needed for harvesting shipbuilding materials.
Thank you. Come back again. Jumbo, you have been floating on a splinter of luck so far. To carve a reputation here, you must get your hands bloody. It's the pirate way. If you measure infamy by the weight of your purse, St. Anne is the right place. We can help each other. You bring me quality materials and I'll make you the best tools on the Red Isle. That way, both our names will grow. I am always here. Sail the northern seas, mate. Decent meal before going out to sea. Fan of half cooked potatoes. <laughs> Ever sailed the northern seas, mate? Aye. Men's skill of pig men.
Hope you got a bigger ship ready, Captain. I don't want to have to haul you from the sea again. If Skerlock vouches for you, then we can do business. I was worried you would not make it back. Continue like this, mate, and fortune will surely come your way. You are one step closer to securing your own vessel. You have come many leagues since searching for scraps on the coast. If you have the silver, I will gladly sell you designs stolen from mercantile dogs. With the right materials, you can build a ship to rival their best.
a ship to call your own and a shoreline calling to good fortunes. Speak to Thomas the blacksmith next. Unless you plan on ramming your vessel into the next companion boat, he will build you cannons to sink your enemies instead.